C.S. Lewis has had a massive effect on me over the years. And so what we've done here at Desiring God is gathered together from all the places where I've written about that influence and put them into one book. It's, a, it's an e-book that you can download for free or you can do a print on demand and get a little copy like this. Um, Lewis was described by uh, Alan Jacobs as having an omnivorous attentiveness. I love that phrase, omnivorous attentiveness, which means everywhere he looked, he saw things better than I see them. He saw more than I see, he saw deeper than I see. And so Lewis has had an influence on the way I see trees, the way I see children, the way I look at my wife, the way I look at the Bible. I just, I long to be able to see with the kind of attentiveness to reality that Lewis had. Another effect is that Lewis writes with amazing uh, metaphorical, imaginative flair that quickens our imagination and makes us see more in what he's writing about. I just want to write more effectively the way Lewis does. Another effect he had was on this issue of chronological snobbery. You know, he wrote on why you should read old books and that nothing is better for being new and many things old are just as valuable as new. And so he just stripped away my senses of being, I need to be current about everything and made me a lover of the the wisdom of the ages. And maybe the last thing I should mention, though it's not the only thing in here, is that uh, in 1968, in a bookstore on Colorado Avenue in Pasadena, California, I picked up the book, The Weight of Glory, and opened to that first page and everything changed. Christian hedonism was birthed out of him and Jonathan Edwards and Dan Fuller so that uh, today, uh, there's so much about what I believe and teach that has flowed from C.S. Lewis. So if you want to uh, see what those influences are and maybe catch this contagion of how effective he is in commending Christ to this world, I commend this to you.